many voters in Kogi and Bayosa states are no doubt counting down to November the 16th, the scheduled date for the electorate to elect their governors and two federal lawmakers. However, security is a major concern as the date for this exercise draws closer. This is the reason why INEC is holding this security meeting with heads of security agencies in Abuja. There are already warning signals in the two states. Both are politically volatile. Elections have been severely disrupted in the past by violence. Our own risk assessment, which will be shared with the security agencies at this meeting, has identified some flashpoints. We are also concerned that thugs have been mobilized from within and outside the states with the aim of either influencing the elections or disrupting the process on behalf of partisan sponsors. 23 political parties, 2,548 polling units, and over 1.6 million registered voters are expected to participate in the Kogi election. In Bielsa State, 45 political parties will be on the ballot, and over 900,000 registered voters are expected to participate in the election. We are aware of this. The Inspector General of Police addresses the gathering on his security strategies. In Bielsa State, we are deploying about 31,041 personnel to cover the election. In Kwegi State, we are deploying about 35,200 personnel to cover the election. These personnel are to cover every terrain in the two states. We have done some threat analysis in the two states, and we've deployed some of the personnel in advance in the states to deal with those uh, threats before the day of the election. The Kogi and Bayosa elections are expected to provide INEC the opportunity to implement some of the recommendations arising from the conduct of the 2019 general elections.